So I'm James Aldcock and I'm a veterinary surgeon working with Lambert Leonard and May at Toomewood Church in Nantwich. And uh, I get mainly involved in milk quality control and um, I have a particular interest in milking machine. I think ADF is, uh, as somebody said earlier today, a, another useful spanner in the toolbox. Um, it's, it's increasingly common to have ADF on, on our farms that we advise with. And um, yeah, I think as a, as a, as a tool, um, back flush has become quite a fashionable thing. So the back flush component is fine, you know, it delivers that as well as anything else. But I think particularly the uh, dipping uh, element of ADF is, is really um, helpful. And there's certain farms that can really manage without, you know, can't manage without it, certainly big rotaries. My experience, ADF is almost an essential component these days. Um, the other thing I'd, I'd say about ADF is that the uh, technical support and the backup and the after sales has been excellent. Yeah, dipping teats immediately after milking makes makes sense really and you know when you're going to dip teats the best time must be as soon as possible um, for a number of reasons really i, I am certainly uh, engaged with the idea that while the teat is stretched before it contracts back down you can get a more comprehensive teat coverage and also while the teat orifice is open then getting some coverage over the teat orifice is useful so you know i think that um, you know if you're going to get a good teat dip then the sooner the better yeah. really <laughs> I think probably the biggest benefit are the practical ones actually in terms of certainly manpower in the parlour and that's a significant cost of milking in the UK and, and teat um, dip usage is often um, something that our farmers notice um, you know, when, they, when they install ADF. Those are the things that people see straight away. The more subtle things are how it influences cow health. Like most things that takes longer, it's more subtle and it's affected by so many things that sometimes ADF makes a profound difference, sometimes it makes less of a difference. So um, yeah, I think that's, that's where I would say the benefits lie. I view it as premium product, the, it's an expensive product because of that. Um, and so um, ADF, yeah, it's generally viewed positively, interesting, uh, words like innovation, you know, would be associated with ADF, but, um, you know, they might think it's out of their reach. And I think it needs careful explanation about the range of cost benefits before people can decide if it's for them or not. My experience of uh, meetings like today is that the more you can have face-to-face -face interaction with farmers on any of these technical issues, the better really. And whether they're, bit, they're usually better done when there's a group of farmers there because then you get a range of opinions. Some people are more comfortable with voicing concerns or their own experience with new products and new innovations. And so, yeah, getting down and dirty on the farm with all these subjects is the only way really to succeed. I do recommend frequently ADF to our clients. Um, and. Uh, I, I don't necessarily always recommend a particular brand, but um, ADF does have some unique features. So yeah, it comes up in conversation a lot. Would I um, say that all farmers always need ADF? No, because there's plenty of people who get excellent results who don't have uh, systems for back flush and don't have automated dipping systems. But there's an increasing number of farmers that really do need automation to free up their decision making and free up the, the uh, um, make, the, make the milkings easier to, to stick uh, manpower into really. So in, automation is a fact of life these days and uh, ADF is, a, is, is certainly one of those subjects that comes up all the time. Anything that makes our clients more profitable will make us more profitable. We have no issue at all with reducing treatment costs.